Today's video shares nine tips to elevate your daily style and look put together effortlessly. My first tip for dressing better is to practice. So we get better at whatever we focus on, whatever we choose to put our attention on, and whatever we practice. So what I always tell my clients is if you wanna get better at putting outfits together and looking more stylish, practice putting outfits together. If you have a hard time putting outfits together with what's already in your closet, choose a time once a week, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, to just have fun in your closet. Practice putting outfits together. Think about some ways that you might wanna style things. Try them on when you've created the space to actually have that time to play in your closet versus when you're trying to go somewhere and you're rushing and it's early in the morning and you're a little bit more tired or foggy and you haven't had your first cup of coffee, if you actually take the time to practice putting your looks together and planning your outfits for the week, you'll get much better at putting outfits together. My next tip is to steam your clothes. This is even your t-shirts, your tank tops, anything that you're wearing that is part of your everyday outfit, make sure to steam it. And what I always recommend is to, again, just like a moment ago, taking the time to put aside to practice putting outfits together, I always recommend taking a time once a week, whether it's a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, and blocking out a time where you're going to focus on steaming the pieces in your closet that need to be steamed. Things will look so much better once they are steamed, not only just visually, but they'll also lay better on the body. And another tip I always say with steaming is if an item is lined, then you also wanna make sure you're steaming the lining separately. The lining will also help the piece lay better on the body. But this is such an easy tip and I recommend getting a steamer and having it accessible so you can take the time once a week to steam your outfits. And you're not rushing in the morning when you go to reach for something and it's wrinkled so you don't end up wearing it and it just goes right back in your closet. If you take the time to steam your clothes when you are ready to get dressed in the morning, everything will be ready to be worn. My next tip is that when you do put an outfit together that you love and that you feel great in and you feel confident in, snap a photo. Take a photo and keep a ongoing lookbook on your phone. I like to tell my clients to have an album dedicated just to your personal style where it's looks of things that you've put together with clothes in your closet. And anytime you get stuck or anytime you have somewhere to go and you need an outfit that you feel great in, you can always refer back to this little lookbook on your phone for all the outfits that you've put together that are in your closet that you love. This also prevents you from needing to run out and go shopping to look for something because you already have outfits that are tried and tested and that you love. My next tip to look better and put outfits together easily is to pick one statement piece. So what's the statement in your outfit? Is it a print and everything else in your outfit stays minimal and neutral? Is it a statement earring? Is it something else in your outfit that is making the statement? It could be something like a colorful top or a colorful shoe or bag, especially when you're newer to creating looks and putting outfits together, choose one thing that's gonna stand out in your outfit and keep everything else more simple, more minimal, and more neutral. It's also a great way to put looks together. You're picking one thing that stands out that you feel great in, that's your statement piece, and everything else should be part of your basics, your foundation of your closet, your essentials that can easily mix and match with your statement pieces. Adding accessories to your look can completely change the feel of it. It looks more intentional, it's a little bit more styled than if you just threw something on and skipped wearing jewelry. Now, if you're like me, I like very simple, delicate pieces, more minimal pieces that I can wear every day. And this is what defines my style. So you wanna think about what your personal style is and how jewelry relates to it. If you're someone that has minimal style, you may not like jewelry or you may just want a little stud earring or a simple bracelet. So really pay attention first to what your style is and how you can add jewelry pieces to really feel authentic and to make an outfit feel more put together. My next tip is to invest in your basics your closet staples, your wardrobe essentials. If you watched my series where I picked seven capsule wardrobe essential pieces and how the nine most common style types 
wear these pieces and the details of each piece, then you know what I'm talking about here. So your wardrobe essentials should fit you and your personal style. So what are the pieces that you are gonna bring into your closet or that are in your closet that are higher quality, are more streamlined, they're more versatile. These are your basics. These are your foundation of your closet. This is what you're gonna use to build your outfits. Another thing I love doing is looking for inspiration for my outfits. So whether you're looking on Pinterest or whether you're sitting at a cafe and people watching, this is one of the ways that I feel we get inspired. And this doesn't have to just be related to your clothes and your wardrobe, but just in a bigger picture. Look for inspiration out there. What are the things that make you excited? And think of how you can translate those into your closet, into the pieces that you have. How can you create outfits from the looks that you've seen that inspire you? And how can you use the pieces in your closet to put those looks together? So getting inspiration, even for someone like me that's been doing this for a long time, that has a foundation in my closet, I love still looking for inspiration. I love getting ideas from other women of how to style pieces. I think it's just such a great way to be creative. The next way to look put together and dress better is probably one of the most important, and that's knowing your personal style. What feels authentic to you? What do you enjoy wearing the most? So most of us will fall into one or several of the nine most common personal style types. And I made a whole series on that as well to help you figure out what your personal style is. This is the way that you'll know what pieces in your closet resonate with that style. And when you're out looking for a new piece to bring in, if it doesn't fit with your personal style, then it's probably not something you're gonna end up wearing. So taking the time, paying attention to figure out what your personal style is can help you when you're trying to figure out how to put outfits together. My next tip is to make sure your closet is organized. That means the pieces that are part of your everyday wardrobe, what you wear out of the house should be hanging in your closet. Try to put away your loungewear, try to put away your pajamas, your workout stuff. That can go in a drawer, in a dresser, but have the pieces that are part of your everyday wardrobe, have them hanging and accessible. I can't tell you the amount of times I've walked into a client's wardrobe and I'm organizing and editing their closet and we find pieces that they love that they forgot about. They forgot they had these pieces because they were tucked away in the back or they were hiding behind some other items that weren't part of their everyday wardrobe. So have your closet organized. You'll know what you have and it'll be so much easier to look put together. If these tips were helpful, I have a whole guide that I made for more style tips to help you really get your outfits put together and feel great in your clothes. So you can grab that when you click on the link up above or down in the description box. So I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you next week.